All right, I'll, I'm going to get this started here. It is one minute past eight o'clock on Monday, February 20th, and we are doing 2023 Tops Series 1 Full Case Hobby Break eBay auctions that ended today, uh, earlier today. Thank you guys for getting your payments in. Um, for those who are return buyers, great to see you again. Appreciate it. For those who are uh, new to us, appreciate it again. Uh, I'm kind of a, a just a hobby breaker here, and so enjoy doing these things uh, when I can. Um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. A um, couple things from an administrative perspective. Uh, all cards do ship. Uh, there's nothing is held back. No, no silly stuff like that. So we do ship all the cards that we do break here for the team um, that is on the card. There are a couple that were um, those combo cards that have multiple players. Uh, what we'll do with those is we'll divide them out. Hopefully we'll get... Um, an even number per team. If there's two per t per card, hope, you know we'll, we'll get those out. Even if there's an odd number, I'm going to use the random.org uh, app on my phone here to to get those situated. Same thing with those that have three on each card. Uh, hopefully, though, we'll get those in, in good amounts that everybody gets at least one. Um, another thing about the rookies, we are uh, I've got a list here. We'll bring it up on the screen. Um, rookies that I plan on uh, at least leaving, if not top loading. Right down a little more. There we go. Um, so pretty exhaustive list here. Good Ricky set here in um, in Series 1. Uh, you can see I've got Gorman Green, Beatty, Cassis, Peraza, Langoliers, Moreno, Bello, Henderson, Harris II, Paguero, Rutschman, and Pasquatino for the Royals. So those cards at least are going to get pulled out uh, once we go through the set. Um, and then we'll, we'll make sure that those at least get sleeved and if not top loaded for, uh, for some of these sets here. So I'm going to get it started. Um, if you guys got any questions, go ahead and fire them up on the chat. Uh, I will be trying to pay attention to that as best I can. Uh, if you've got any other rookies that you want sleeved, just please ask away and we'll, uh, we'll do our best to, to get those accommodated as well. Uh, this is brand, oh, you can't see, I, I, it, I am busting this bad boy right out from the box that it came in. So these are coming straight out of the box. Haven't even looked at them yet. So these are going to be our 12 boxes here of Hobby. Uh, one silver pack per box, and we'll get that opened as well. And once we get all these out, we will probably end up shipping, um, hopefully by tomorrow, get these out, get them sorted and out tomorrow. Uh, the intention is to also um, do a recap at the end here. So if you get a skip out or if you're just kind of coming in towards um, and don't have a whole lot of time, uh, we will definitely be doing a recap uh, at the end of our break. Those are all 12 boxes. Don't fit in the camera screen, but hey, they are all here. Uh, so we will get those put aside. Get the box for the trash there. Set these aside here. A couple more aside here. Get our first box out. And I'm excited to break in the series one of Tops 2023. Uh, I used to do, did a whole bunch of breaks here um, for um, during the pandemic. Actually, I kind of busted into it for a while. Um, and, you know, it was just enjoyable, a thing to do, kind of on the side, hobby wise. And, you know, um, I might do it every so often again, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so this is our first box here. Make sure we're all on screen. There's our silver pack. Uh, with each of the packs, I'm not going to call out each name. I've seen some breaks where they call out every single name for every single pack. Man, I don't think any of us have three hours to go ahead and sit through that, but I will make sure that we pull, um, pull those rookies out. Uh, and make sure everybody gets into the right type of packaging. So, all right, first thing we got here is our silver pack. And we are off. So we've got Tony Gwynn, Clayton Kershaw, Barry Larkin, and there's Shea Langoliers right off the bat. So we we'll get that one set up here. I probably, in all honesty, I probably am going to... Um, at least leave all of these silver packs. These are pretty sweet cards. Um, 
each of these from the 35th anniversary, 1988. So very cool. They'll sit right there, and we are off. So again, if you guys anybody wants to chat it up, I'll do my best to see what folks are talking about. All right, here we go. So I'll make sure I get all of those rookies out there. There's Torque. That's a Torque in the 88. That one's sleeved up. Gray, Clinton's Kings in Perez, Sai Suzuki, Mets. Here's a Jesus Sanchez. Should be that gold out of 2023 this year. Kepler, J. Minter, and Jorge Alfaro. So the Jesus Sanchez here for the Marlins. That is 1038 out of 2023. Leave them. Argus Santander, Seawald, Prado Contreras, Crawford, Aranada. There's a Brett Beatty, 2023, 2022, excuse me, greatest hits card. Giants team card. And right, there's one of those. Two of those that we're going to have here that are split three ways. Uh, team celebrates walk off. That is the Padres. Um, one thing actually about this one here, um, I actually do have um, the Mets in a lot of, of, of breaks. So I'm going to pop this one to Phillies and Braves first. Uh, and if we end up with extras, we'll, we'll see what we do with those. But those will definitely go to Braves uh, and Phillies first. And then that one there. We'll get that one split out. I said hopefully we'll we'll run into multiples so that we don't have to worry about um, rolling for those, but we shall see. Checking my list. Okay. Marte Hayes, Martin Yelich, Rojas, Jarvis Appel, the Max Stassi. Special one right now, series one. There's a Starling Marte. There's a rainbow foil. Caleb Smith. Man, man. Another split and Red Sox team card. Down, Molly, Vogelbach, VR, Henrik Springs, Control, Barry Larkin, Wilson, Scott. I said I do have a lot of, um, yeah, you know, I didn't say Vaughn Grissom, but I definitely will. Um, thanks for asking. I can get, I can get Grissom sleeved, certainly. It was definitely hard, but this this set, as soon as I saw the rookies on this set, I said, man, this is great. Um, Kershaw, I've been attending. Soto. Here is Alvarez, Gonzalez, Kinley, Diamondbacks, and Angels. Lee Freed, Radon. Grand Mountcastle, Davies, Kim, Ashcraft, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman. There's Oswald Peraza, and I feel that's the first rookie we've hit, we've hit here that's on the list. So hopefully, um, we'll be seeing some more of these coming up. I'm just going to separate out. Those silver pack cards from the rest. 
They make it a lot easier. Ooh. That is the easy fix, I think. Put packs on the side. There you go. Here are the boxes too. Let's see if that's any better. Ramuto, Thompson Bryant, Rainey Witt Jr., Taylor Rogers, Maul Montgomery, and Josh Smith. I know I said I wasn't going to do every name, and I'm doing it, right? Um, kind of habit, just making sure I'm not missing any of the rooks. A Rose and Reina on the 88. There's Riley Green, Sean Murphy. Home run challenge here for Bo Bichette. So I actually did one of these home run challenge cards. I had a bunch last year for um, for Pete Alonzo, and I hit. Uh, I, I picked when he was in Colorado and Washington, and because those are two places that he does really well in, and he hit a home run. In one of those places, I ended up getting one of the cards. Uh, I didn't double down on it. You have to hit it over 425 feet, I think it is, or something like that. But um, I thought that was definitely interesting. Got a Leo over Paguero there. Uh, that's not Verdugo. Cedric Mullins. For a British singer. Hugo Sanchez. I got a ton of penny sleeves, so I don't mind penny sleeving the inserts. Uh, I know some of them are, are pretty common, but, but still, it's something to throw in there. It's funny, even now, some of these guys have already been traded off their teams. There's Vaughn Grissom. There's a Cody Bellinger. That was a rainbow foil. And when we sort too, if there are any of the any of the rookies that we missed or anything that should have been sleeved, it'll definitely get sleeved before we ship out as well. So we got Grissom, Bellinger. Hang on, I'm gonna put the rookies in a separate pile so I can keep them keep them separate. Green Peraza. Like I said, on, on these um, combo cards that have Mets players on them, I'm in a bunch of other Mets breaks, so I don't um, I don't need extra ones. So those are going to go to those other teams first, for sure. Kirby, Trout, Boom, here's Vinny, Daza, Tristan, Shower for Buxton, Metsies. It's Michael Harris the second. There's a I've seen this picture already with Michael Harris. I actually like that picture. That's a cool card. And Vinny Pass Quatino. I am torn on Michael Harris the second. I am excited, uh, but I am not. <laughs> so. He can do well against everybody else. All right, Cole, Small, Pache, Swaggerty, Petty Two Ace, Tim Parlo, Reese Hoskins here. We got our Rainbow Foil. Got Cubs, Rangers, Dodgers, Seattle. There's a whole bunch of those kind of team cards, if you will, all up in a row there. Richard Garcia. 
our ground about a little bird in green. Our one two punch for the Yanks. Atlanta Braves team card. There's a combo card. Zach Thompson and Blue Jays. We're looking for our first auto and relic here. Let's see what we can pull out one here soon. Langoliers. I see some color coming up here. Three all going to the Rockies. Got Herman Marquez. These are the green foil that are out of four ninety nine. This one is one fifty four out of four ninety nine. Kind of looks like this year these these numbers are a little bigger, or at least a different font than they were in the past. It's kind of the first time I'm getting a close up look at them. So that is definitely um, that is a good one to know. Uh, and that is actually that's gonna be a top loader. Let's set that right there. Combo card, Orioles, Jazz, CJ, and Hanniger. I got one more stack left here. And so each box is supposed to have at least an autograph or a relic card. So should be seeing something soon. Sheets will go. Tiger, Stroman. Ready. I left that Langoliers down there, didn't I? Ozuna, Rogers, Stowers, and Taylor Ward to get that one. Ready to the Dodgers. Snap Kronorth, Shohei. Noah Pools, Wells, Robbie Ray, Brian Bello. So for one each on these rooks, have not seen um, Adley or Gunner yet, so Oriole spot. Definitely need to get that picking up soon, fam. Combo card, Teoscar, Detroit, and Red Sox. Terra, Steamless, Kamara, Petey. There's Adley, Shona Von Q. Brown, Devers, Barlow. Guardians, Cardinals, and a combo card there. There he is, Mr. Rutschman. Definitely one of the stars of this set. Him and uh, him and Michael Harris. Certainly two of the rookies. And Gunner, to be honest, too. Uh, rookies chase in this set. And Brett Beatty. You don't want to forget about Brett. It's Moreno. I was watching another break, and they um they hit the Moreno SSP, which was pretty cool. Uh, those are those are, should be relatively easy to spot. Um, that's Cleveland, Canna, Hendricks, and all these. Um, those SSPs are, are pretty solid. Pretty good odds on those to um. If you guys are paying attention at all, there the SPs are there. The image variations are all the cards in series one, not just the select few, um, like they kind of usually do. So kind of did an image variation on every single card. Uh, but they, what it is, is that the tops is all gold and on the back, it's got SSP on the back here. So it is pretty easy to see. There we go. Nice Adley Rutschman Major League material. That is a solid hit. Puts the Orioles spot solidly on the board. Winker, Dodgers, and Nationals. Those are, that one is unnumbered for the Major League Materials. And I do have actually some top loaders that are a tad a bit thicker um, for these instead of the regular ones. Yeah, it's a better fit. 
it's much better fit on that. So congrats here to the Orioles spot. It's a nice hit for Adley. Well, Edman, here's Brett. Probably like Cassis. Cassis. I don't know that. I don't know if it's Cassis or Cassis. I'll just say Tristan. Uh, somebody in the chat here who's, who's in Gunner. Wow, that's a solid rookie pack. Um, oh, these cards are cool. These Aces cards. Uh, these are pretty solid. Nice to the Houston Astros spot right there. I uh, got a combo card here. Yankees, Sarayas, Donaldson, and Trevor Story. Um, like I was saying, um, I don't know if I, I look at it, say Cassis, right? But the, these Aces cards are actually pretty cool. So that goes to the Houston Astros spot. Uh, here's Gunner. So Gunner and Adley both showed up. Uh, one base card each. Hopefully, we'll turn that up a little bit. Um, we did see Michael Harris and Vaughn Grissom as well uh, on our rookie list here. Uh, didn't see a Nolan Gorman yet. Haven't seen a Riley Green. Um, but everybody else has showed up at least once. So uh, that bodes well for across the across the 12 boxes to hopefully at least pop one, um, one in each box. Kind of around about the average or so. Uh, Julio and Lee Basius Chavis Grove. That's team card. We have anything backwards in that pack, did we? Sometimes you gotta you gotta catch it right and just see if he actually missed anything. No, nope, he missed anything. She didn't have anything in that one. I'll give it some oomph. There we go. There's our silver pack. I'm going to put the, the packs off to the side. A whole set of combo cards here. That's the only bummer with them um, with doing the, the breaks with the cards with multiple players on them is you got to kind of account for all of them. All right, second silver pack. Josh Smith, Fernando Tatis Jr., Graham Ashcraft, and Lou Bob. Just checking the back of uh, the back of the last one. The ones with the wood last year, I mean, I saw a few where they went through and the orange variation uh, and even the gold variation were really tough to pick up. It seems like in these they'll be better because the these cards had a white. Um, border, so I think they actually might be easier to pick up um, any color in those as we go through. Um, but it is, doesn't, doesn't hurt to just give it a quick turn to see, make sure you didn't miss anything. Riley Green, Aguero, got some here. I'm pretty sure we did not see a Nolan Gorman base card in that first box. So hopefully it will pick up. We'll see him in a couple more. Give him a chance to catch up. Hope everybody had a good long weekend if you're able to have the day off today. Jays, we do. Oh, there's another Von Grissom. A singer. Oh, that was a non insert pack there. That's every so often, right? Kind of just run out of inserts to stick in. I definitely got to work on the focus a little bit on how to. Slow down or see here. 
Isaiah Morgan Lux Young Duffy 2020 for Jimmy Rollins. A cool little insert this year that the 2020 30 30 40 40 club i think that'll be something um hopefully we see a little bit more of um this year with some of the rule changes etc that are that are happening in the game um with throwing over the first and you know the shift changes and pitch clocks and all that stuff that's going on we'll just see how how that really is nolan gorman thank you for showing up sir um, kind of see how that's going to impact the game this year. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of some of that stuff. Um, other stuff, I'm, I might just kind of leave leave well enough alone. You know, as a as a ball player at heart, I'm like, well, you know, you hit the ball where they ain't. Um, but I also get that you know, um, gotta you gotta. They have a product at the end of the day, right? It is a business. Uh, Bobby Wood Jr. in the 88 35th anniversary. Like I said, we will get these uh, sorted out and uh, probably get them packed up tomorrow and then out the door Wednesday is my intention. So. Um, I should be I should be able to hold to that. Um, even if I get them done tomorrow during the day, I, I don't think I'll be able to get uh, to the post office in time to actually get them out uh, to make a difference. So trying to push it, you know, doesn't doesn't make much sense when I can give it another few hours, and then that way everything ends up being good to go. Bob Kiermaier's Langoliers. Running away. Detroit. One two punch for Messi's CJ King Zuma. Brian Bella right in the back there. Kind of pull holes his farewell card here, right? Last, last regular season card, at least. Um, for him and for, for Yachty. Good. That looks like some black there, maybe coming up. Let's do it this way. There we go. A little suspense. Miles Perez, Taylor Rogers, Freed. That's Rimuto. Behind Zach Thompson is a CC Sabathia relic for the Yankees. This is nice with the black. This should be numbered. Uh, sure is. Numbered 192 out of 199. That's a nice looking relic right there. It's got the pin stripe. Um, I like I like the black border cards when they're sharp like this. Um, that is definitely nice looking. Gotta go to my other stack of top loaders here to make sure I get the, the right size. That might be actually too big. Oh, it's actually pretty good. All right, cool. So nice hit there for the Yankees. 199 Sabathia with the pinstripe black relic. That's what we got there. Oh, let's do that. Why not? Good read. 
Let's see if off a uh, Walker Anderson Choi, Frank Rainey, Whit Jr., Ashby, who a Vaughn Grissom that's backwards. That always bodes well. Got a Riley Green greatest hits, and the Vaughn Grissom is the rainbow foil. Nice. It's rainbow foil Vaughn Grissom. He's a little few and far between, actually, as um for some of those. The uh the, the jumbo boxes have the gold foils, which I if I remember correctly, end up being um kind of in the thousand range or so as far as um um, I count. I'm just going to make sure that none of the other rookies I put in that wrong pile there. Uh, Cassis. So I got, I got, I got dinged by the, um, the fact that it was an insert. So I want to keep all the, the, the cards of the actual, any of those rookies um, on the side there. I'm going to do it that way. Uh, even if they come up on the in the silver packs too, I think some of those guys are in silver packs. Um, so we shall see. Alex Manoa and that Aces card. Giants combo. Padres and another combo card. That's Urias Alcant Alcantara and Max Fried. Once again, we'll um we'll get those combo cards separated out uh, evenly. Uh, hopefully, we'll just have an even amount at the end and be able to to split those out. Um, per player. Uh, if not, I will use random on my phone to get those separated out properly. Anthony Santander on the rainbow foil for the Baltimore Orioles. Combo card Manoa, Cease, and Verlander, Red Sox. I should have Santander on my fantasy team last year. Uh, he's a pretty good, pretty decent pickup. Switch inning outfielder. Decent, decent amount of pop. McNeil, Freeman, and Goldie. Is that was that was the batting average? Yeah, and I, I think I said it um, earlier. Those those combo cards that do have Mets on them, I've got plenty of these coming in already. So um, any of these that I get, we're just going to go between the other players that are on the cards. I don't need to have more of those. <laughs> I like this design this year too. I like the the headshot being back on the card. We got Shohei, nice Shohei home run challenge. Good luck, good luck if you decide to um, take a shot. Pick the game. A new New York Met, Tommy Fam. To punch, erase, right and Darvish, Tasker. Yeah. To some of these now are, have these City Connect uniforms. Um, there is a City Connect um, patch, like a manufactured patch that I've seen. Um, so we'll see if we come across any of those or not. Barlow, Guardians, Cardinals, 
we'll just send that to the Cardinals, that combo card. That's an easy one. Escobar. Well, there's Nadley. Aaron. Ivan Herrera. What do we got back here? He's got a Jeter Downs. I think I read the other day he was just DFA'd. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, that is numbered 1780 out of 2023. Um, that's kind of crazy. Here's Adley. Adley number two. Like I was saying, though, these um, I really do dig these these um, this design here this year with the the portrait here and then the, um, the team logo and just just the the design this year I thought was a little bit better. Thought the last couple of years got a little monotonous in the design, and so um, it's nice to kind of have it stubbed up. It reminds me of the old um, eighty. 83, 84 tops where they had those those um, portraits in there. Cordero, Will the Thrill. So we got Dodgers, Nationals. There. Well, he was. I, I enjoyed watching him growing up. Actually, um, being a left-handed first baseman myself, he was definitely one of those guys that I paid attention to. Um, it was him, uh, Mark Grace, and Todd Helton were kind of the three, the three left-handed first basemen that I really kind of migrated to as far as watching and um, not much emulating. Uh, that's for sure, but you know, Beatty and Gunner in the same pack, Julio. I think those guys were together in the last time, too, um, Beatty and Gunner. So I'll have to keep an eye out and see if they're they're both in that same pack again. For the Orioles, um, it will be exciting for them pretty soon. I think they're going to start making a run in the AL West there. Or excuse me, AL East. Goodness, AL West. Um See how that goes. Unless all this re, um, redivisioning or whatever they're talking about is happening. Um, we'll see, though. I've seen a lot of nonsense that's out there. Michael. Rose, Mike. Boom. Pedro Martinez. Combo card. Sure, Mets. Michael Harris, the second. Hey, Josh, uh, I know I've gotten a Moreno base, and I've seen a um, Alex Manoa was on um, a card, too. I don't remember which one it was. It's one of those Aces cards. Yeah, there it was right there. Uh, these Aces cards here, they're, pre they're pretty cool, uh, that Manoa. Um, just on box two, so we're getting there. I did see a Moreno SSP hit the other day, though, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, those cards are pretty cool. There's Vinny. Okay, my big my stack here is gonna have to go to a second stack of cards here to sort out. Later, Kirby Cole, small. Brings Trout Alvarez and Judge Thompson, Matthew Libertor. So those powder blue. Throwback Cardinals uniforms. I dig those. Pretty cool. My last pack here from box number two. Got to start a new stack of cards over here. Sherman Mitchell. Soraya's Judge and Bogarts. Two of those three guys are on new teams. 
this is pretty wild. And do a little bit of an adjustment here. Get these cards slid over. And we'll get ourselves into pack razor. So far, here that here's a set of combo cards, y'all, through through two boxes. So uh, I'll make sure, like I said, we're when when we're done here, um, right before the full recap, what we'll do is we'll ensure that um, I get those looked at and get them split evenly between everybody. Silver pack. We are on box number three. That silver pack. I've seen some some breakers where they'll they'll hold all the silver packs to the very end. I don't know. I'd rather have a little bit of excitement at least, you know, in the middle of everything instead of holding it towards the end or if like if you see a hit you know like they save it for later it's like no 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 let's, i want to see it let's see it. um so here we got ricky oscar gonzalez wander for the rays ethan small for the brewers it's definitely an interesting assortment of these um um some of these rookies that they've thrown into the mojo um packs here some guys i never heard of um but may, maybe we'll soon oscar gonzalez actually i picked him up on fantasy too um, he kind of came out of nowhere. Ethan Small, though. I'm sorry, my man. Don't know you, but we'll see. Maybe he'll join the fantasy team sometime this year. All right, box three, y'all. Brackets, Bobby. Juan Soto and Padres. Isn't that 88? Look, packs back there. So, the thing after 88, I think kind of the I don't know, the designs kind of went a little sideways. Like, I was not a big fan. 89 was okay. I'll tell you, 90, I did not like that design. Um, I know in two years, right in the 2025 um, stuff, we're going to see a throwback, you know, 35 years to that. I, I just was not a fan of those those wild colors and and i just didn't like the design there's no other way around it um but i liked what they've done the past couple of years they kind of started it with the 83 um a number of years ago so um those those were all pretty sweet but yeah not a fan it's riley green uh leover paquero uh, trout 3030 um just not a fan not much else to say about it, really. And I know I do, I do sleeve the, the junk out of some of these, um, some of these inserts. Probably gonna have to uh, look and see if I need to get more sleeves or not, more penny sleeves. Uh, I might. We'll see. It's funny. I've got penny sleeves up to you know, a ton of them and what ends up happening is when you buy um top loaders sometimes uh you end up with a um they give you more penny sleeves i was like oh i don't need more penny sleeves here's the yachty kind of last let's go around here for dugo neil something good here oh nice nice hit here for the seattle mariners home field advantage for each row i think these are case hits i have not seen a lot of these um just in case i'm going to put that one in the top loader I'm going to slow it down just for a second so we can kind of pay attention to that one. I'm sorry about that glare. If I got a bad glare behind me, what would I do? Oh, it's a terrible glare. <laughs> I promise it looks good. Uh, then home field advantage there for uh, for Ichiro for the Seattle Mariners spot. Congrats there. That's a nice hit. Mike, is that you? I think that's you. I think I, for some reason um, I remember you having that that Seattle spot. So that's that's a sweet looking card. Seager, McKenzie. Here's Vaughn Grissom, Jorge, Eli, Gavin, 
All right, there's bread on the 88 card. Nice. Cool. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah, there, I, I, those were cases last year, too. Um, that is nice looking. That's a nice looking card. I like that. BD and Grissom. Second, so the Cubs. Yeah, I just had um, George Kirby was right there. He's in the, he's the guy who was on my fantasy team last year. Uh, we could only keep um, a certain amount of players year after year, and I'm struggling with wanting to keep him. Um, you can keep a player for up to five years, and then after that, you got to let him you got to let him back into the pool, if you will. So we're on our third year here, but I picked up Kirby last year. Man, he was solid. Then he got sent down, and then he's back up. Um, but his his control is, is I think is only going to get better, and it's already pretty impeccable. Um, so I'm struggling on that. Let's judge Herrera, Brown, Kennedy, Cabrian Hayes on the 88. Arlo, Guardians, Cardinals, Cardinals. Yeah. Man, I probably shouldn't be penny sleeving these, but I am. <laughs> nice, Mike. That definitely pays for the spot. So anything, everything else is gravy, right? Unless that's going into the unless it's going into the PC for a while. I definitely struggle with that about what I what I want to keep or what I don't. But it'll definitely be heading your way, Gabriel uh, Gabriel Moreno. Moreno, excuse me, Moreno. On Jansen Farmer Heim. Looks like we got the uh, team walk off here card for the Padres is zero zero three three out of twenty twenty three. I'll be and Winker. Yeah, man, definitely. It, um, you know, it's funny. I was I was telling my wife earlier that one one of the biggest hits that I've ever had um, uh, in, in a break that I did um, was a tribute dual autograph. Um, you know, one of those packet cards um, or book booklet, right? Uh, and it, and so I I did what I just said earlier. I I, I shouldn't do, which was I kept it to the end. Kind of, there was a bunch of folks watching, and so they were like, "Oh, you know, oh, keep it to the end, keep it to the end." And so I did, and lo and behold, man, it was the Mets, and so it was, it was David Wright and Pete Alonzo, and so I was really excited, but I felt kind of bad because I had hyped it up so much. Um, here's Paul Seawald talking about Mets. Uh, that's a nice car. He's very excited there. That's probably when he struck out the Mets. I remember he got excited uh, when he did that. Joe Musgrove here in this Aces card, and so I, I, I pulled that card out, man, and I felt. I felt really good because it was a great card, but I felt, you know, on the flip side of it, I felt bad because I was like, man, I talked it up. And then, it, you know, um, I don't sell them at spots because I just keep them. So um, kind of was a little bit of a bummer for folks. And, but, you know, people give me a hard time like, oh, you know, oh, you rigged that. I was like, yeah, I rigged it. Definitely. Definitely rigged that. I don't even know how to do that. I'm definitely going to need more penny sleeves with all the, the inserts that I got going here, but I like that's fine. Penny sleeves for everyone, baby. 
Well, there's Gunner. Yeah, Gunner and Beatty are in the same pack, and Julio. So that's that's three times now we've seen that. So that's definitely the um, uh, the distribution of those cards and story. Yeah, that is definitely um, where these guys are going to be. Yeah, it's hard, right? You know, um, just from a volume perspective. Um, you know, if I was doing this, this was my business, right? And and you know, I I, I had plenty anyway. Um, I don't think it would be as big of an issue, but you know, I I'm lucky uh, if I you know break one case period, and so I would like to keep the Mets. <laughs> so. Uh, it worked out well, actually. Uh, Arenado here on the 88 uh, with, with Beatty being the guy um, having his rookie. I was actually kind of surprised that he was in this set. Um, I didn't think he was going to get his rookie card this year. He just came up for a cup of coffee at the end of last year. And so I was like, well, you know. Um, but when I saw the checklist and he was in there, I said, okay, here we go. Uh, and, and he's got a couple different ones too. You know, you've obviously got the the foil parallels and the, all the color and everything like that. And um, so we'll see here. Let's be, um, Sunny Gray on these Aces cards. Yeah, so far at least um, co coalition wise. Um, I have not seen a repeat of any of the inserts, which I like. Because um, there are definitely some sets and products where the collation is terrible. And you'll get, you know, the same player in back-to-back -back packs when it's, you know, like one auto per pack or one relic per pack or something like that. And it's like, come on, Tops or Fanatics or whoever they are now. Um, you got to do a little bit of a better job of that. Um Mr. Alfaro. Marcus Santander, Seawald, Jones Crawford, Harlan, Doris, Jeff Bagwell on the 88. Giants. I know that's the second of that one we've seen with Riley and Schwarber, so that's that's at least one for each team there. Um, like I said, with those with those combo cards and, and the Mets, I've got I got plenty coming in, uh, so I don't I don't need any more. I will gladly split those out. Martin Yelich. Mark Appel getting his first, his rookie card. Uh, that's a pretty great story there. It's Jazz Chisholm. We got another, we got a backwards here. We got foil, yeah, rainbow foil on Eli Morgan. It's a little tad of a little nick here on the top. It's kind of a shame. These fall cards are pretty nice for the Cleveland Guardians here. Caleb Smith, McMahon, ERA card again. Rainbow foil and the insert. I don't know why. I honestly, I have no idea why I'm penny sleeving the, <laughs> the home run card because you don't. You're not going to grade this right or anything. You're just going to basically you're going to scratch off the back if you if you want to even. Um, anyway, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hoskins, Jeter Downs, Gray. What do we got coming up here? It's like one of those one-two punch cards. And it's one-two punch. It's another one for the Yankees. We just had a one-two punch that had um, Cole and um, Severino on it. It's interesting. That's why, why the Yankees ended up with two one-two punch cards. Interesting. I guess this is the one-two punch from, from those days, right? Sabathian and... and and pet it, I guess. Wander. Future stars. 
don't know if I like that too much. It doesn't, it kind of stands out a little bit, but not, not as much. The one I liked the most was that one, I think it was 89. It was in like rainbow and it was like a kind of a, a little bit of a um, curve on the card. I think that's what it was. I think that was 89. Another one two punch here, Nola and Wheeler. Rangers, Dodgers. Cool. Can you give me some more? So I'm in, I'm in box three here, and I'm just about to bust through my hundredth penny sleeve. So I'm definitely flying through those quick. And that was just two whole home packs in a row. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We've got what? We've had two relics so far, so we're still... We still do. Yeah, we still do. Let's go. There's Kermar. There's Langoliers, Mullins, Wood, Gibbons, Margot. Langoliers. I don't know what the Braves are going to think. This guy ends up turns up being a superstar or something pretty solid. I mean, Matt Olson's done this shake stick at. He's he's definitely pretty darn solid. Um, so we'll just kind of see how what times. There's Ezekiel Duran. Like I said, some of these rookie guys I just never I even heard of some of these guys. I sent my poor wife to go get the, the penny sleeves. Yeah, yeah, you know, um Sean Murphy now, I'm with you. I'm I'm just shocked they, they gave up on Contreras so quick. Um see there we go. It's talking to the relic. There it is. Yeah. I mean, feel feel bad for A's fans, right? Like, I mean, they just, you know, here we go. Javi Baez, a former Met here. Nice in the Major League material, bat, game news material here. Kim Zuna, Rogers, and Stowers. Yay, thank you. Got to check. I brought, like I said, I brought a whole bunch of... Um, like just a stack of thicker top loaders. I'm not sure if I've got... I've got ones that are thicker than this. I just don't want to... I'll reposition if I need to. Yeah, it's good for now. So nice there for the Detroit Tiger spot. Right? I mean, you had, you had Dave Stewart. You had Bob Welch. Um, from the pitching side, obviously in Eckersley and, you know, obviously Canseco McGuire and all those guys, you know, were, were no joke. We got here's one of those 2022 greatest hits, Shohei. There's Gunnar Henderson. Nice. 2022 greatest hits. I'm not sure. <laughs> he had a cup of tea too, right? Brian Bellow. So I guess his greatest hit maybe was his first hit. I suppose. And same thing with Brett Beatty. Although I know Brett Beatty's is probably the home running hit against the um, – what was that? Oh, yeah, that was the Braves. Um, so uh, that one I can understand. What was this? I just got to look at this real quick. Youngest player to announce his presence, blah, blah, blah. Smoked a home run. Youngest player to go deep in an MLB bow for the Orioles. MLB bow. Like debut? I don't even know what that means. MLB bow. 
Not cool. Anyway, cool. Nice for Gunner right there. Yeah, you know, one of the guys talking about the A's and, and the Braves um, relationship, if you will, was Christian Pache. You know, when he first came up, I, I was like, man, this is going to be solid. And he just couldn't hit. Um, I mean, his defense, you can't question the defense, but he, just, he could not hit worth the junk. What we got here? Miguel Cabrera, Rainbow Foil. Nice. Talk about first ballot Hall of Famer. Here's one of them right here. Without question. I mean, you, geez. Yeah, my magnifying glass to look at their stats there. Another Oswald Peraza. And I appreciate y'all if you're hanging out with me right now. I will, um, the recap is definitely going to be a little long. Oh, did we freeze? Did I freeze? I froze. Did I freeze? No, I'm looking at my phone. My phone's frozen. But my camera on the computer is good. Tell me, you guys, if, if I need to... Do I need to reload here? Did I freeze? I'm trying to get this open without puncturing too hard. It's like super durable plastic now. There we go. Yeah, I'm still I'm still good. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, my, my phone froze up on the video, but I was looking down and it still looked all right. All right, here we go. Box four, y'all. Here's our silver pack. To pull a banger. I want, to, I want something solid. I mean, well, to be honest, that, that home field advantage is pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. Um, pull a, a solid one of those. It's pretty good. Where are we at here? Let's get these back. All right, silver pack. Don't look like any color there. Got Ivan Herrera. There's Adley. Nice. Adley on the mojo. Oh, hello. Hello. Mr. Nolan Jones on the autographed mojo for the Guardians. Are those numbers? It is numbered. 148 out of 249. Man, I need to reset my chat here. Some, you know what? It was my fat hand. My hand hit the... Hit, the, hit my... Um, my phone and caused it to uh, um, there we go and cause it to freeze <laughs> anyway sweet Nolan Jones here congrats for the guardian spot um, that was an unexpected unexpected hit there at the uh, in the mojo so 148 out of 249 Nolan Jones Ivan Herrera, add me on the mojo. That one's actually going to get it. That one's going to get a top loader. I feel like this one's probably going to carry, carry a little more value to it than obviously the rookie or anything else. So you're going to get a little extra love there for that, Adley. Those two at the bottom of the mojo pile. All right, all right, box four. And I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna breeze through these. I'm just, I, I talk too much. Plus, I, I obviously pulling the rookies out too. You're kind of, you know, you're looking for the cards here. Um, I'll try to speed it up a little bit. I appreciate you guys hanging out here on a Monday. Dremski on that insert. I know I've seen you know some some folks that break too if they're more more um, of a 
well-oiled machine. It's sort of they got other people on camera, you know, opening packs, and you know, all you're doing is just kind of going through who's who. That's nice. Future stars. Hunter Green that is the gold that is numbered 709 out of 2023. Scott Jimenez. Put that one there. Yeah, man. You know, that dude, I, I play MLB The Show as well. And so on my PlayStation, and the, the, the card they put in for Corbin Carroll, when, when it was a 99 rated, that dude was a beast. He was fast. He had power. Don, uh, Donnie Baseball there for the 88. Um, that's pretty pretty exciting out there in the desert. I, I think he's going to be a pretty solid solid player. Um, but, yeah. But you know what? I, and I've seen it, too. I, I don't believe in, you know, um, um, I don't know, whatever whatever kind of energy you want to call it, though. But I've seen it too many times where, where folks have said something or mentioned something in, in a chat or whatever. And, and lo and behold, right, it, it happens. Or, you know, whoever's doing the, the, the breaking is just like, oh, you know, we haven't seen so-and-so in a while. And boom, you know, there he is. So what do we got there? It's a Byron Buxton for the um, home run challenge. Hopefully we don't have any um, Albert Pujols home run challenges, right? They had the Buster Posey ones last year, and, you know, they obviously didn't do anybody any good. So it was like a 30 30 coming up here. There's Adley, Judge. Adley and followed by Judge. I, I, I've seen that too now. Um, I think that's the third time we've seen that um, come through. Jeremiah, do you know, do you know does Carol have, does he have a Mojo Auto? Or does he have a. Um, Anything else? I've looked at the checklist a little bit. I haven't keyed in on, on um, to be honest, I've keyed in on Mets players. Um, like the 101 Tom Seaver, you know, cut signature. Moreno. A couple Morenos we've hit so far. There's a, there's a um, diamond back there, Buddy Kennedy. We got here Blake Snell on the rainbow. Please wink. The Moreno, he got traded, right? But I feel like he got traded from the Blue Jays. Black. Okay, cool. Well, we will do our best. That is for sure. Pavin Smith. Show hang. Yes, he did. This is Daryl, 3030. Brian Bella. Sneaking it right in there. It's a cool 3030 car with Daryl. Nice. You know, worst, worst, Jeremiah, is that you ask and it doesn't happen, right? So, <laughs> we got some black coming back here. Do a little hide and seek with it. Healthy. Peraza. No way leading for even. Nice craft bets. All right, let's see. Behind JT Riamuto. Nice, nice Nolan Gorman here on the 88 uh, black border. I believe these are yes 91 out of 299 so nice there nice hit for st louis cardinals nolan gorman 91 out of 299 on your black 88 
Alex Bregman on the 88. All right. I mean, the, the card conjuring, I think, is a good way to put it. You just you just, you speak it, right, and it will it, and boom. And I've seen it. You know, if, if you would have told me, I'd be like, get out of here, right? But I've seen it. And, you know, again, it, is there an explanation? No. Does it matter? No. So, oh, oh, that's thick. Oh, ooh, that's thick. All right. We got something thick here. Let's see what we got. Smith, G Man, Hunter Brown. There you go. You know what? Uh, I, I saw the other day in a break um, the Michael Harris camouflage out of 25 was, was pulled. Man, that was that was hot. That was hot. These actually, I kind of like these. Um, these city connects. So here's Jose Abreu. Yeah, there's a big boy. Um, let's see what I got for you. That should work. Um, these city connect cards here. Yeah, go go big or go bold, man. Red foil 199. I mean, that's this the small potatoes, right? You can get a 25. How about the Father's Day? You know, blue. You can go with that one. Or the Mother's Day pink. All right, let's just go for the. I, I, I think they're one on ones, right? All right, mock that. Um, there a little bit. It looks good. Those are cool. City Connect. This actually counts as a relic, right? It's manufactured relic, but it still counts. So it's kind of boo in that case, but you know, could be worse. Some of those last year that they had with those like city flags, yeah, man. I, I don't even. I think I kept the Alonzo to be honest because I was just I wasn't very impressed with those. I'm a little snobby. Uh fair on the color match. Um fair on the color match. I I am guilty of color matching the Mets with the blue and orange. Uh unfortunately, those num those are usually low numbered, especially orange. Oranges are typically around the 25s. Um the blues are a little better because they're usually like 150 or so. There's McClanahan on the aces. Um, but man, that I tell you that those oranges at a twenty-five, especially if they're autoed, they are they are tough. Um, there are unfortunately um, some solid, you know, Mets fan, Mets collectors out there that um, you got to go up against. So, yeah, you know, the Orioles and orange is. I agree. I, I think I think that would be that would be solid. Without a doubt, and so and so, it's just a matter of like what your teams, you know, their colors are, right? Okay, well, there's Riley Green again. Haven't seen him in a while. And the over Pagrero, those guys are back to back too. And and Acuna, and I remember this this um, this sequence right here. So Pagrero and Green, and the Acuna base are pretty close to each other. They've they've been in uh, um, same packs. Yeah, those those oranges out of twenty five. Man, you gotta you break the bank on those bad boys. Castillo Wisdom. Neil Yelich on the eighty eight. And the good thing I, I I'm just looking at this Yelich um, eighty eight here is that I I haven't seen any repetition. Either in these Aces cards or in these 88 um, 35th anniversary, too. So it, it's been pretty solid. Yeah, that, that's solid, man. Those any those Bowman cards look really, really nice with the colors um, and their design. I think those those they did they did well with those and Fawn Grissom. Um we got Vargas here. Nice, Miguel Vargas. I, I contemplated um, penny sleeving Vargas here. I just I, I just didn't see it quite yet. But maybe maybe he's a big boy too. Big first baseman. Yeah, he's six three six three two. He looks bigger than six three. All honesty, 
But you know what? It's cool. There's Grissom. Yeah, my, my biggest pull still was um, was that um, 25 um, dual auto with um, Alonzo and David Wright. I mean, that's sitting on my shelf over here. That That's not going anywhere. There's Nolan Gorman, one-two punch, Kershaw and Granke. I probably shouldn't have sleeved those one-two punches either, but, you know, it's all right. Nothing wrong with a little extra protection. Plus, you know, I mean, the thing is, you know, some some folks in their breaks, they just fly through the um, uh, the base. And, and some of them, um, especially with some of the Bowman sets, you know, with the Bowen paper and chrome and stuff, they don't they don't ship the ba the paper. And, and I'm not I'm not here to criticize anybody one way or another. But if I buy into a break, I, I want all the cards. That it's just plain and simple. Like if I'm buying into the Mets, I want them all. Um, and I saw something. What is that? That was just the '88. Um, but I mean, that's just me. Again, I'm not not saying here, or there, or any of the way people decide to run their stuff. Especially if you're much bigger, um, you probably can afford to do that. So. <laughs> I, I just like I said, it's just not the way I, I would want to do it. You know, if somebody buys into the to the athletics or whatever, like I would be like, dude, you're getting all the cards, period. So, but, you know, like I said, I just I picked this up during the pandemic. Really, I've always kind of collected cards, and I just needed something to get the energy out. And you know, I was just I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this for a little bit. Um, I did it a lot last year. If you guys look at the page, you'll see all my goofy videos on there. Um, but uh, what I ended up doing was just kind of slowing the roll a lot this year and focusing more on what I want to keep in my collection um, overall. So, plus, off and the wife kind of she she there's a couple of Langoliers. Um, She's a big Javi Lopez fan of all of all players, and so I've been trying to trying to get her some some stuff here and there that, that she likes. I've got one that's a um, a relic card with um, Javi and Tom Glavin. So I was like, all right, I was like, we got a Met. Uh, he wasn't wearing a Mets uniform in, in the picture, obviously, um, but you know, it's at least Tom Glavin. So that's um, that's one of those that I appreciate. Here's Brett. Should we have Gunner soon, I think. Unless Gunner was before him. I bet you Gunner was before him. Yep, he was. There's Devers. Donaldson, Trevor. Yep. I bet you Gunner was before Brett and it didn't make that pack. Yeah. I mean that's the same thing people could say too, right? About about Max being a cub. You know, I don't I, I, I barely remember him being a cub, um, but he was. There we go, Devers and Beatty. Um but yeah, they they've been um they've definitely been a, a you know a good number of players that have crossed um the Atlanta and in, in, in Mets um um play like Jeff Frank Hoare is one of them right you never think of Jeff Frank Hoare being a Met uh, I would think of him being being brave Vinny yeah and, and, and you know and there's Michael Harris so this is the Vinny and Michael Harris pack um you know if not for the rookie cards um and there's actually a, a group that I'm in and and they blow through the packs like they literally um when they open it they, I'll show you what they do. So they, they just, you know, they'll, they'll open a pack and they have, they've got other people opening at the same time uh, on camera, of course, you know, they'll open the pack and they'll just go, they'll go right. They'll see that, you know, they'll, they'll hit it. And then they'll go right to the, um, so in this case, this, this, you know, Rizzo here, um, greatest hits. And then, and then they'll just go like, blue, blue, like that, boom, gone. 
and it's cool because the, the group everybody everybody knows everybody in the group and so there's there's trust that's obviously built into that um but for this you know it, it, it obviously is not that and that and that's okay I, I know exactly what it is I you know I appreciate what we've got here um but you know it's definitely it's a time thing right especially when doing a full case of hobby Right. If I was doing like jumbo, you know, I could probably I could blow through it a little bit faster um, from a numbers perspective. But still, uh, or if you're doing other other stuff, Tyler O'Neill, it's going to be the rainbow foil. Um, you know, if you're doing other stuff, it's just a matter of, um, you know, how many um, cards there are and what the um, the distribution is. Because if you're doing something like finest, right? There's only there's only you know, a, a finite number of cards per pack, and um, what ends up happening is that you you don't have to worry about you know taking forever, uh, or you just do them in um, Tyler O'Neill here on the rainbow foil. Um, you do them in smaller amounts, right? Like I thought about it. I thought about doing like half cases on these, um, but I was just like, man. It's time consuming, right? Like, like as a dude who just sits here and you know has a lot of other stuff going on uh, besides this. Uh, there, good old brave bear chipper, Larry. Um, you know, doing this and sitting for you know however long this is going to take and, and and knocking this out and then getting all the cards shipped out too, right? Because if I break up the case, you know, and you and you buy into to both, you know, halves or whatever. Um, I might not get it shipped out in time or who knows, right? But is it more lucrative if you do it that way? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. And the last one was a struggle bus. There we go. I might I might need just a new new blade there. We are bopping on to box five. Man. Why I'm so slow. So slow, silver. I will. I'll try to speed it up, you know, I promise. We will do a full recap at the end. Uh, like I said here, uh, everything that um, has been sleeved, all of our rooks, um, and such. So, uh, let's see. we'll come back at the end. If you want to hang out for a while, always good. This is that card in the back. We've got Brian Bello. Corey Lee, Bubba Thompson, Miguel Vargas. Man, it's like a rookie pack. Look at that. That was a rookie pack. All right. So the only ones I've heard of, I've heard of Vargas, obviously, and Bello. Corey Lee, Bubba Thompson. Sorry, guys. Don't know. Don't know, y'all. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. But not now. I'm um, actually going to put that Brian Bellow in the back rookie pack here because that's where I'm keeping um, these guys are in the back. And actually, that reminds me. Yeah, that ad that needs to go in the back, too. Don't put any other ones out there. No. Okay, cool. My buddy, my, my best friend would like that Tony Gwynn card, actually. He, um, he was a Padres fan growing up. Weird though, because we grew up in New York City, right? But for some reason, he just he was a huge, huge Tony Gwynn fan. Uh, can't blame him. Yeah. Um, just right. Wit. There's a thirty thirty. Acuna. I'll tell you what, Acuna is one of those guys that that I I think if he if he if he plays right and and right is a very generic word for a reason. I think he's got a he's got the potential to be a 40 40 dude. I think there are a few of them right now. I think Julio's another one. I think Julio's got a chance to, to be a 40 40 guy. Um, you know, the, the big thing in recent years has obviously been the, the stolen bases, right? The stolen bases have really, I don't even have to look at it. I'm pretty sure stolen bases are down overall in the game. Um, so I just think that, you know, with some of the changes that are going on and, and et cetera, that I, I think is going to open them more in the talent, right? I mean, those guys, those guys obviously have the talent um, to be, I think to be 40, 40 guys. 
but we'll see. See what happens. Riley Green, Paguero. It's the Green and Paguero pack with Acuna. Now, you know the thing about Acuna, I, I, I like him, right? I like him as a player. I, I think sometimes his his um, his youth betrays him in the sense of like he just he's almost too. On the on the word, I'm, I'm trying to I'm figure out, but but you know, like he, he his worst enemy is himself, right? Like just things he does, or and and it you, it's in public too, right? They, they, things are on the field, or that his teammates see, and it just it was Von Grissom. Um, but but I like him. Like you know, if somebody said, "Hey, you know, Ronald Acuna Jr. is coming to the Mets," I'd be like, "Awesome," you know, like that's the, that's the kind of guy you want out. You want, you want him out there. Um, it's just if you want to, you know, take on whatever distractions there are or not. And I think as he gets older, it'll 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 mellow, right? It was like the same thing when Baez came to the Mets. It was like, oh, you're getting this guy with all this attitude and stuff. But to be honest, it it it, it gave him a good shot in the arm at the end of that season. It just ended up that you know some things went, um, some other things went sideways injury wise, specifically Degrom really going down and the pitching just kind of you know fell flat. Um, and that hurt the rest of the season, but you know, we're giving up Peter Crow Armstrong for for Baez for that half a season. I, I think it's still TBD, right? Because you know, PCA has not played in the major league yet, He's a big prospect still. But don't know. You know, if you look at the trade between the, the Mets and the um, the Mariners, you know, with Cano and um, Edwin Diaz coming over for. Um, up here we go, Ketel Marte, Rainbow Foil, um, coming over for uh, Peraza, um, Kelnick, and Justin Dunn. You know, th those guys to date really have done nothing, right? And Diaz arguably was the best reliever in baseball last year. Um, and Cano is just a, a hot mess. So, <laughs> oh, you know. Right. Oh, we'll see. I'm excited. <laughs> Here we go. Is Vinny? We should have another one coming up. Um, man, there are a lot. There he is, Michael Harris. So it's the Vinny Michael Harris pack. That's what those are. Um, we'll see. I'm excited. I mean, like I said earlier in the chat here, my my wife is a Braves fan. I am a Mets fan. Um, baseball season has been interesting the last couple of years. Uh, it will be very interesting this year. Uh, one thing that we do share uh, is a load for the Philadelphia Phillies. So if the Phillies folks are out there, we, we do appreciate you. Um, we, we just don't, we don't like your team, but that's okay. Can't like everybody. I suppose you could like everybody, but, but you know, fun is that. Here's an Alex Manoa, 1988, 35th anniversary. Yeah, back there, Garcia. I definitely agree, though, that if, if we were not, if I was not, oh, there we go. That snuck up. Hello. What is this? Tommy Henry. That's Diamondbacks. I right, man, that took me a second. My Diamondbacks guy, here you go. Tommy Henry. Is it numbered? It is numbered. 194 to 199. Arizona Diamondbacks pitcher. It took me a second because of this Serpentes um, uniform they had on here. Um, it's one of their alternates. But nice hit there. So I don't know who this guy is, but um, still, it is a 199. Autograph, 194 to 199. So congrats right there, Tommy Henry. That one snuck up, and that was early in, in early in the box too. So come on, box. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully another case hit. You know, I've seen some of the like we're still looking for. Um, 
you guys are just joining or, or, or in and out here. We're still looking for the SSP or Langoliers. Um, still looking for um, those wood, um, those kind of wood ones here. Shohei on 2022 hits. Um, so definitely a couple things we have not seen quite yet. Um, so hopefully we will. Two punch there, Musgrove and Darvish. Roger Kershaw, Benintendi, Good Years, Alvarez, Freeman, O'Neill Cruz. Here's a guy, too. I don't know how fast he is. Uh, let's see. Uh, 18 stolen bases, 250 at-bats, 11 stolen. I'm not sure if he's a guy that'll, that's that got that potential for that 40-40 that type thing. Um, I know he's six foot seven, so they know that's that's an interesting frame to have um, as a ball player, especially as a shortstop. But you, know, you never know. There's Adley. All right, as we do go ahead and sort through here um, later, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, if I did miss anything, obviously I'll I'll get those properly sleeved up uh, if they were worthy, uh, or if I missed one of the combo cards uh, to get those out. Aces Yankees card coming up here. Gary Cole on the Aces. These are pretty sweet. It's a nice little insert set they got going on this year. Those nickname ones too, I've seen. Um, there's one for um, I think uh, Acuna's got one actually. I know Alonzo has one with Polar Bear. Um, uh, it threw me off for a second because I thought uh, we had a rookie that was in front of Judge previously. It's another Aces card. Um, but that set is uh, is in here as well. Like I said, there's like these these cards that like look like wood. Um, that's another one of the insert sets. Uh, the SSPs. So we haven't seen any of those yet. Hopefully we will see him soon. There's Gabriel Moreno. Moreno. I don't know why I cannot say that dude's name right. We got here Gavin Lux. I haven't seen a Tristan in a while. There's Gunner. Seeger Winker. Yeah, still good on these inserts. I'm not seeing any any repetition um, on like those 88s or anything like that. It's a nice dirty uniform for Gunner right there. Right. 
Let's come up. Baby. Julio Iglesias. Tal Marte on the gold. That'll be out of 2023. This one is 802 out of 2023. That's a Serpentis um, uniform there for them. There's Brett. Nice black uniform. I wonder if that's the home run. No, it looks like that's the. Um, he hit that home run in Atlanta. So it wouldn't be the black uniform because that's their Friday night alternate. Ooh, what do we got coming up here? Oh, we got orange. Orange coming up. Orange coming up. There's Nolan Gorman. Good little suspense on that one. Chapman Minnows. Gary Sanchez. So we got orange here. Roberto Perez for the Pittsburgh Pirates. The oranges are at a 299. That is 118 out of 299. I think that font is definitely different for those. These are sweet looking. I, I like these. Um, nice orange card there. Tough for the Pirates, right? Like there's no yellow. I guess there's black, right? There's the black ones, but it's not it's not the foil like this. But um just think of like color matching, right? Like obviously the red birds, you know, they obviously got a serious color match on, on reds. Some other teams they really don't have a, a primary color that's easy to match to. Frank Thomas. Talk about a big boy at first base. Go Riley Green for the home run challenge. Interesting pick for the home run challenge. Fascinating. It's got one two punch coming up here. One two punch Corbin Burns and Brandon Woodruff. Brady Singer on the rainbow foil. All right, coming up on um, box number six. Pack number six. Got James Altman, Brett Beatty, Charles LeBlanc, and Nolan Arenado. So three rookies out of that. All right. Let's 
I hope we can say I have not heard of James Outman. Charles LeBlanc, I only remember because I think he did something against the Mets last year. Arenado here, no number. I forgot. I forgot exactly what he did, but it was something. I know that's very descriptive. Is Aaron Judge greatest hits 2022? That one I can, yeah, October 4th. I was gonna say, if that is not his record breaking home run, I'm not sure where to go. Definitely seeing good repetition on these um, combo cards here. So there'll be a good distribution of those for sure. Hopefully, to be honest, we don't get any of the you know numbered cards, right, out of the, with those, because then those just have to go to a random, and then um, that kind of stinks uh, for, for two people, somebody, not so much. But definitely the base cards will get... Um, We'll get split out proper. Home run challenge, Jordan Alvarez. That's a good one. I want to talk about a beast. Guy was an absolute horse in the playoffs last year. I guess horse, you kind of that, you refer that to more of a, um, of a pitcher. Uh, he was just a beast. He was a beast. He was a beast. 30-30, Dale Murphy. Good player to see on the card here, Dale Murphy. Whatever I go, you know, through cards or whatever, I, I look at um, and I see a player and they're a former Met. I just think former Met. Uh, in that case, it was in the guard that I saw there. Yeah, I remember Murphy playing for the Phillies. This is weird. Fourteen, no, fourteen cards. Just felt thick for some reason there. I don't know why. A six four two fifty two Cassis here. That's a big boy at first base. Beatty Gunner Julio packs. 
Those, those have definitely all run together. And I might literally sleeve 400 cards. I, I say that because I'm almost through my second set of 100 penny sleeves, and we're obviously here in box um, six. So it is very possible that I will sleeve 400 cards. That's all right, though. That is all right. So Vinny and Michael Harris are together, and Beatty and Gunner are together. I don't think Adley is paired up with anybody specific. When I recap, y'all, I might not recap all the, um, the 88 cards or even the 2022 greatest hits. I got to see how much, how much, what time we've got. Um, but definitely everything that's serial numbered and um, and the rookies are going to get are definitely going to get in a recap. Green. This is Lenin. Lenin. I'm not to pronounce his name. Sorry, my man. Lenny? 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 Mr. Sosa. That's what we'll say. I feel like we're kind of lacking on color. You know, like, why don't we say that, right? There we go. There's color right there. Um... <laughs> Um, it looks like um, the Mother's Day color, actually. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see if I see. Now, if this is is it really look at that. So there you go, Tristan McKenzie. Sure is. Twenty eight out of fifty for your Guardians. Two nice hits for the Guardians. But look at that. So I just said, I literally just said we could use some color, right? And then boom, there you go. I I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. I don't believe in fortune telling or anything like that, but. You guys just literally witnessed that happening. <laughs> Can't make it up. Can I got distracted? I lost the rest of the pack. I didn't lose it. I just uh, I got distracted by that. Okay, Morel. Right, very nice hit there for the Guardians um, on that Mother's Day. I had McKenzie actually, Tristan McKenzie on my fantasy team for a bit too. Um, he, seemed pretty, he seemed to be pretty solid. Riley Green, Guerrero. It's a green Aguero pack. And that is it right there. That was the 200th. That's 199. This is the 200th penny sleeve. And I still have packs left. For box six. So I'm gonna have to get my wife to come back down again to get me some more. Or I might just have to run out to the garage and get another pack of penny sleeves. Like I said, it's all good. Sleeves are good. Sleeves are good. I've bought God cards before from on, on eBay and, and I've gotten them with like I've got them in a top loader without a penny sleeve. And I just say to myself, come on man. I'm like, what are you doing? There's Ron Grissom, one two punch, Flaherty and Wainwright. So like who like how would you ship how would you ship a card in a top loader without a penny sleeve? I suppose it's somewhat protected, right? But I mean it's penny sleeve for a reason. Like it costs less than a penny.
I guess. I don't know. I mean, it probably doesn't cost less than you know, how much it costs, but they always come in with them when I get the top loaders, so they're just got included. JJ Bladet, he's on another team now. Lux, Leon, Duffy. We got here Jorge Mateo and the Rainbow Foil. Those are Cobb, Naylor, Chapman. Everybody is so quiet. Nobody liked that Tristan McKenzie. My guardian guy must it. Um, must not be on. That's all right, y'all. It, it is long. I, I, I believe me. If I was if I was in a break like this, I would just come in at the end. There's Gorman to watch the to watch the happy recap. Like that would that would be what I would do. So if you guys if you guys are hanging out, I really I do appreciate it. Um, you know, it makes this a little more, a little more, uh, bearable <laughs> in the sense, but it's still fun though, right? I mean, I'm like, like a 10 year old here opening, you know, opening the packs here, getting cool stuff and it's just different dynamics of it all. Dancing Perez, Thirty thirty, Sean Green, former Met, Sean Green, four home runs in one game, Sean Green. It's one of those guys you don't think Sean Green, like former Met, right? Or um, some others, like Mo Vaughn, right? Mo Vaughn was a Met, <laughs> believe it or not. You know, yes, Red Sox. Yes, there's Langoliers. Yes, Angels, right? But Mets, he was a Met. Zuna was on my fantasy team for a bit, but when his, I'll just say his incident occurred, uh, I dropped him like a bad habit. And it's just a personal, personal preference of mine. Shohei. Here we go. There's a Trey Turner. Autograph hit for the Dodgers. They're just kind of sneak up on you because they are so um, thin. They're just a regular size card. But here we go, Trey Turner. Baseball Stars autograph for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Very nice. So anyway, I've got, I've got, I had a hundred, I had four boxes of twenty-five top loaders here, and and. <laughs> Not really burning through them at all. I'd be lucky to get through one of these. Man, this car's super thin. Um, but congrats right there to Trey Turner. Very nice. We got all these together here. Let's keep all those together. I'm gonna put the tail into that box. Right. Dude, we've made it halfway. Holy smokes! In two hours, Eric. Good grief, my man. We need to pick this pace up. Strasburg, Plaza. Well, I, I promise y'all, um, we will get through this. I better be done before midnight. Plaza. I, well, I'm definitely going to recap. We'll recap the rookies. That is a guarantee. And and the silver packs. And the, um, the relics and autos and serial number cards. That I can promise you. Um... Probably, man, that's the third pile. I'm going to do a little housekeeping here real quick. Just shifting over these, these big old piles of commons. 
So, so far, y'all, halfway, this is our stack of combo cards. So, holy smokes. Wow. All right. We are getting there. I don't know if my blade is just not as sharp or if the, <laughs> the plastic is thicker. All right, right there at 9.56, we are hitting the second half. Box number seven. Silver pack. I'd ask for like second half mojo or something, but there's Bubba Thompson again. Hello, Bubba. What do we got here? I was checking. Vargas, Ricky, Oscar. I feel like we just had Bubba Thompson. So now, now we're talking T. Start the second half. Now I'm seeing the doubles on the mojos. I feel like we saw Vargas already too. I think the Ricky was just a regular 88. And I can't remember if Gonzalez was or not. All right, let's rip. This is Von Grissom. I'm trying to figure out where to start my next pile. Start it right there. I forget about you, Von. Andy Murray, former Met, right? right? You know, former Dodger, former Angel. I just want to check one thing to make sure I didn't have a combo card I missed. There we go. We're good. We're good. Keegan Thompson on the rainbow foil. Burns and Woodruff. See, there, there we go. So that's the first, I think, repeat of an insert card that I've noticed. That one-two punch card there. Of Burns and Woodruff. Oh, it's pretty good, pretty good collation so far. Distribution of cards.
don't know, I'm a clan. I see, man, I said something and now we're popping popping dupes on the inserts. That's the second clan of hand on those aces. Let's say see more color. Let's see more color again. How about that. PD, PD Rutschman and Judge. That's a solid combo of three cards right there. A little Vladdy Daddy. Expos. Expos cards do go to the Washington National spot that was listed uh, in the auction. Just in case anybody was looking for that spot. The Expos do sell with the Nationals. Got a home run challenge coming up here. Jose Ramirez. Nice. I have no. I, I'm. I'm still doing it because I started the. I started. I might as well keep going, but I don't know why I'm. Just leaving the home run challenge cards. Morero. It's like one of those thirty thirty cards coming up. Yep, Larry Walker. Is he a thirty thirty guy? I mean, obviously. Yeah. Hmm. Never thought of him as being a, a speedster, but apparently he was. Also said his 49 home runs were the most for a 30-30 club member, which is true. My favorite player was a three-time 30-30 guy, actually, um, being Howard Johnson for... The late '80s, early '90s Mets. Uh, I will actually meet him again on this upcoming weekend. He's going to be at a card show locally here, uh, along with Doc Gooden. Both of those guys are going to be there, so it's going to be kind of cool. I have not met Doc, but I will. I shall, I should say, I shall meet him. Also, for those um, fans of the. Mid-80s baseball. Uh, Dennis Oil Cam Boyd will also be at that same car show. Um, he's not going to be on my list, though, of people to see. And I'll see him. I'll be like, cool, there he is. But, um, yeah, I'm not I don't think I'm going to go out of my way for uh, Oil Can. Sorry, man. I'm keeping up with the rooks. I feel like I'm keeping up with the rooks pretty good. I think I would imagine we're probably going to see 10 to 12 base per rookie. It's just my guess of where we're sitting halfway here. Um, and then obviously any any ancillary, um, you know, parallels or mojo or uh, anything else that comes out. But that, that's kind of where I expect those uh, those cards to sit. It's kind of about right for um, for Jumbo, or excuse me, for a, um, Luis Castillo for the Mariners. Uh, hobby case. Those Aces cards are kind of cool because they're curved around the sides as well. Um, so it kind of gives them a little playing card type feel. Bellow. Peraza. I am definitely curious, though, if anybody's looking to chat at all, what the uh, Series 2 is going to pull up rookie-wise. 
Um, if there are any any rookies for your team that you were hoping to see or not. Um, you know, for the Mets, like you've got Francisco Alvarez, who's who's being talked about. Um, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's. I guess maybe it depends on what the first half of the season holds for him, or if he's going to be better off coming out and update. Um, you know, after the after the season or whatever, whatever the timing of update usually is. It's another uh, Langoliers base. So I don't know. I definitely was surprised to see um, Beatty in this set. Uh, happily surprised. Definitely um, happily surprised to see that. Very cool to see Gunner and, and uh, Adley for the for the Orioles because I knew that that spot was going to hold hold pretty well. Um, and all honestly, happy to see um, Michael Harris the second in, in Vaughn Grissom because that, that obviously holds the. The brave spot pretty solid too. Shohei, Corey. The Cunha 3030. And the flipping around too. It's actually it's just crazy. But I think that's the second 3030 because that prompted the conversation earlier about um Acuna. Doing a 40 40 season or primed for it. Christian Javier, rainbow foil. Cease on the 88. Riley Green. Oh, that pad came up quick. Speaking of the Philadelphia Phillies, there's a Reese Hoskins, uh, 1988. It's a little string in there. It's interesting. I, obviously, I, I will leave said string alone. Um, I have one card that's got it's got like a little string on it, and it's, it's killing me, and I because I want to cut it so bad, um, but I won't. Let me see what I got here, size wise. I think this should work. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Cool. Congrats right there, Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. So second to last pack of that box. Hey, you know, at this point, the box is kind of blend together, and so it didn't, didn't dawn on me that we had not hit with Paguero. We should see. Um, somebody else soon. Um... Didn't dawn on me that we had not hit a uh, autograph or a relic yet. Show a twenty twenty Paguero. Yeah, I feel like I'm going a little faster now, at least. So that's good. That box did not take um, longer. There you go. No, much better. All right. Still looking good. I just, <laughs> I just saw my 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 phone. I'm watching here. When <laughs> my my arm hit the hit the back of the computer here, and just the screen bounce all over the place. All right, silver pack. Getting those commons all set up. All right, silver pack number eight. Ozzy Smith, the wizard. Bobichette, 
Nick Prado and Christopher Morell. is redone. Grissom, Tony Gwynn. Man, that is crazy, Mike. You know what? Let's let's give that some mojo. Let's give the Mariners some mojo for a silver pack. I'm not sure where that'll be. That's a good all right. Check it again because uh, there's Gorman. I promise y'all, if I miss something in in um, during the live break, like one of the rooks or something like that, and then we get to it when we're sorting, it'll um, they get properly sleeved. Uh, that I, I can promise you that. Um, Like one of the um, one two punches coming up. The Rays, Baz and McClanahan. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm looking at my my camera again. Here is definitely a little bit out of focus. Um, my wife pointed that. Ooh, my wife pointed that out earlier. So blue. I think the blues are usually on inserts. So we'll see. We'll see what we got there. Grace, McClanahan, Hap, Stevenson, Perez. Okay, what we got back here. Marlins. Marlins. Jazz Chisholm. These blues are not. Uh, serial numbered, if I remember correctly. I will check real quick. Yeah, they're not. Um, but man, what a weird color for the word Marlins on the top. I would have thought they, well, anyway. Still cool. That is cool. They're unnumbered. Um, 1988 Jazz Chisholm. So I'd be curious, Mike, if you're if you're still listening there. Um, are, are there any Mariners in the checklist? Ooh, look at that, Michael Jack Schmidt. Schmidt. Um, just in case anybody is curious, um, I asked Howard Johnson what what motivated him to use number twenty for his career, and this is his answer. Mike Schmidt, three, cool. I'm thinking, obviously, Julio is one, um, I would think. But still, that's crazy. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll pull for it. Lang layers. We'll pull for it. Why not? Let's see. 
Junior and Ichiro. Hmm. Wonder if they're short printed. Because I know sometimes they short print the veterans, right? Like I've opened the pack here and I had one that was four rookies. Right? So I wonder, I don't know. I don't know. Barry Barkin. Hello. Peraza. Walking to the three home run guy. Yeah, 33 and 36. Never thought of Barry Larkin being the 30 home run guy. And we got four more chances left there, Mike. So let's let's hope. Let's give it some, some good positive energy mojo. JT, Matt Duffy, Rainbow Foil. Say hey, Willie Mays. I think on there, like that orange for Giants makes a lot more sense than that the pink that was used for the Marlins with that blue, um, that blue parallel jazz, jazz, jazz. Um, yeah. get curious about you know who who has what say about the design of cards and um, what colors are used and things like that take it right it's Michael Harris the second there you go nice 88. See, like on there, like it's got the it's got the um, blue and then the red. Like that's exactly what I would expect on that card. <laughs> exactly what I would expect. Maybe because the Marlins didn't exist in 1988, and so they didn't have anything to really go by. So they're like, oh, let's just throw you know this pink in the name. Got a one-two punch coming up here. A little irony in this one, right? For the obviously for Detroit, but this is the Mets one two punch right now. So that's cool. Like a little gold, Gunner, Julio, Evan Lee. There we go. Danny Jansen gets himself a little bit of color. Is fifteen eighty out of twenty twenty three. I wonder how every year they figure out the um, how many. The print runs right because that set every year increases obviously by one right so it adds you know one insert card so 330 total 
each year. So I wonder how they account for that with all the other sets. If they got to pull something back or if they don't include something. Just Lindor. Again, yeah, like that's the right colors. That's weird. It's little things you little things you think about. works. There's the O'Neill Cruz. Relic. Player War Memorabilia. In the 1988 version of the cards. It's very nice here. There's the black and the yellow. Okay, let's find you a home. I'm just looking through my top loaders, trying to find this proper home. Fork. Yep. Very nice. Scherzer. Hits pull holes. I almost got ahead of myself. Adley. Here's since I saw Alonzo. So it's Alonzo and then Adley and then Judge. Definitely gonna have to go and get another pack of penny sleeves. I'm on my fourth one. The last one I have sitting here at the table. I'm in one pack. Can't believe I burned through that many. That's all right. That's all good. Seth Lugo, Rainbow Foil. Right. Four boxes left, y'all. Um, I think just that Manila, Alex, was the biggest one that comes to mind right now. Maybe can you give me another one of those things, please?
think um, for the Blue Jays, Moreno's tracking pretty well. Um, that's the thing I expect about um, 10 to 12 base cards. Um, so, well, let's see. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, so we'll pack. Look at that. Look at that, Mike. Here you go. What is that? Thank you. Uh, what is that whole asking you shall receive, right? So there it is. Leave it there for a second. There we go. There's the oh, oh, oh. oh I thought we had some color in the back. We don't. Um, anyway, there you go. Uh, Oswaldo Cabrera, nice. Frank Thomas, nice. Wow. This is this, this is the solid silver pack, y'all. Shohei. So Shohei, Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, and um Oswaldo Cabrera. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice grouping right there. Tanner Scott Gold. That'll be out of 2023. Okay. Trevor Story threw me off because I remember him being in a pack that had uh, some of the other rookies in it, but I did not see it in that pack. It is 11 14 out of 2023. Vladdy. There goes the Blue Jays right there. Greatest hits by Guerrero Jr. The Jonathan Daza, that's the green foil. Those are out of four ninety-nine. Three forty-nine, excuse me, three forty-five out of four ninety-nine for the Colorado Rockies. Congrats. Brian Hayes, Rainbow Foil, Ichiro on the 88. See, Mike, that's what happens. You ask, you receive. I'm not 
I'm not going to penny sleeve that. <laughs> I'm going to scratch it off and use it. <laughs> All right, Gorman. Nice. There's Vinny. Miguel Cabrera. There's Michael Harris. All good, my man. I, I tell you, it just it's what happens. So, asking you shall receive. Are you talking the Ichiro '88 or are you talking the Griffey Jr. out of the Mojo? Because you have two things to talk about. Or both. Both is always good. There's an A-Rod. All right. I don't know what uh, whenever Mike had for dinner tonight. Went. His Mariner's mojo is definitely working. Now I'll tell you what, if if I'll tell you what, Mike, if, if a Julio audio uh, audio a Julio auto comes out, uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'll message you and I'll say, hey, um, pick me some numbers, and we'll split it because we'll win. So we got major league material coming up. Put that in the back, make it easier. All right. Let me check. Barlow. What we got? Major League Material. Trey Turner. Second Trey Turner card here for uh, this break. We had an autograph of Trey earlier. This Major League Material is a bat card. A little bit on the thicker side. I've got. Right size. I might not. I think all the ones I have here are just a little on the thicker side. Ooh, that one might work actually. Now I'm now I'm stuck with thicker ones, which is fine. Uh, it's just a placeholder, but I, I like to have these a little more snug. Yeah, it's a little. I'll probably get a different um, different top loader for that later. Dominic Leone. You know what, you guys, what we haven't seen, we have not seen an SSP. Uh, we have not seen those wood cards either. So, and I'm seeing them on eBay too. So I know they're out there. I don't think they're jumbo specific. Um, pretty sure they're not. Uh, I know the SSPs are not. Um, but if I do, if I do end up coming across something that I just flat out missed, um, it, it, it you'll you'll know because it'll be it'll be properly uh, packaged. Uh, there's laying layers. Oh, nice, Mike. Uh, the um, Ichiro himself or just the, the home field um, set? Okay, all good. I was curious. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the, where I go for looking up um, 
information is it's a site called cardboardconnection.com and they i find they they are really good about um keeping that information and they they kind of do write-ups um about stuff that's i've not noticed william Contreras. i'm sure it's probably like the eighth or ninth one that i've hit which is the first time i just happened to notice him That's cool. I like it. I'm definitely realizing, like my wife said earlier, um, I think my the focus here is on the the dude that down here instead of the cards up here. I don't know if I hold them further away if they focus better, or maybe I just maybe next time I just won't have this down here, and that might help help with the focus a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's funny after opening all these, you get like that, like a little smell from them. Oh my God, it's 2022 greatest hits. You don't realize either, like just the um, the little bit of material that comes off of these two. So you know, um, you know, like a little, like these little um, cardboard pieces, if you will. I'm gonna cough again. I'm gonna go get some water real quick. Give me a second, y'all. I'm going to grab some water. <clears throat> oh, much better. <clears throat> I must have known I needed it because I literally put the water right behind me. Um, so when I stood up, it was right there. Was um you know what I was thinking? Did um I was thinking about rookies. Did Spencer Strider have his rookie card last year? Um Peraza. I just don't I don't remember. And obviously I'm just kind of coming off the off the top of my head here. Um I feel like he did. I think he did. I was trying to think of like other rookies that are you know that are coming up that are going to be in series two or I guess they're the, they're going to be the unknowns too right um you know th those guys that, that are just going to come out of nowhere to kind of hit um, series two and update but I don't know. I know the Orioles have got um, where's Adley? It's Escobar, Adley, and Judge. Um, Orioles have got Grayson Rodriguez, who's a pitcher who's coming up. Um, I think he'd gotten hurt last year, so he's got he's got potential to be in. It depends on where he pitches, right? This year. Um, Yeah. Let's see. It's Mar Marino. <clears throat> and there's Trout on his 88. Parallel Aussie. 
like I said, when I do the recap later, um, definitely going to go through all the rookies. Um, I'm, I'm probably, I'll probably do all the inserts. I already, I already load penny sleep them, so might as well. Um, and obviously all the silver packs. Man, I want to see that SSP. Come on. <laughs> it's like the one. Right, we'll see. It'll come up soon. Um, this is Arrow, Goldie. I've got a huge stack here of the combo cards. That is for sure. I need to figure out how I'm going to do that, like right out in front here, so that we can see them all. Believe me, though, y'all, they're going to get distributed evenly. Um, Bryce is a little sleepy head. Um, thankfully, knock, knock on wood, we have not come across a, uh, a low serial numbered one of those that actually is going to have to random. Um, see, all these other ones here that have the two or three players on them, three players really, um, we'll just get... Um, Distributed evenly. I, I can almost guarantee you we've got multiples of each. Riley, Guerrero. I remember being in the break last year where I had Alonzo in Series 1, and he was on one of those cards, the combo cards, and had a zillion of them because it was him. I think it was him, Tatis, and Riley. I think we're on it. All right, getting to box number nine. No, ten. Cool. Box ten. I promise you, I was box ten. Um, there's two left, right there. <laughs> Man, it's late. <laughs> it's a long weekend. Good long weekend though. It's, uh, this case actually arrived on Saturday. And, uh, man, I just kept looking at it and looking at it and looking. I was like, I got to wait until Monday night to break this bad boy. So I'm glad Monday night's here. I'm glad all y'all are here. It's weird to hear a New Yorker say all y'all, but I, I got I got lived around the country for a while. And picked up all kinds of crazy things. All right. Here is our silver pack. Silver pack number 10. I don't know who this is. Taryn Vara. That's his name. Cool. Mike Trout. Nice. Vinny. Nice. Bo Jackson. How about that? Bo Jackson. I did not expect Bo. That's cool. That's cool, Bo. I see you. Mikey the fish. Finny. Just up there. Bo Jackson. All right. We've seen no color out of the um, mojo. We did get an autograph. Did get an autograph. And we've gotten a couple of the rookies out of them so far. Um, but nothing crazy. No real color. I guess we got that one Mother's Day, right? We got the Mother's Day, Tristan McKenzie, um, which is out of 50. But no, the color, I, I don't know. Color really hasn't hit, hit me quite yet. Aaron Nola here on these aces. This is SSP. That, that's what I want to see. I want to see that, that that the wood card would be cool. Um, I want to see one of those SSPs, those gold ones that um, has the gold on the back and the gold tops embossed on the front. That's, that's what I want to see. Riley, over Lander.
Let's see these packs that I got, you know, like two or three that I'm sleeving that, that definitely um, slow the process down. And the rookies. I mean, that's really the thing, right? Like, but that's a huge reason that the flagship is what it is, right? Like, I'm excited about the rookies that are in here. Definitely want to see some more fire. Home run challenge coming up here. See some fire. Is that Bryce? I guess that'll be good for the second half of the season. Right? He's not due back until what? Maybe July or so? I think it's July. Yeah, I need a Von Brisson. My one two punch there. That was a nice one two punch, actually. Hall of Fame one two punch. Maddox and Glavin. Two punch coming up here. Verlander and Cole. Let's see that sequence again. Yeah, Escobar. And then Judge. Huh. That's where Adley had been sitting earlier. And it was Alonzo, Adley, and Judge. Gorman. Another Michael Harris on the 88. That's nice. Very nice. Boost the computer. Moreno. Got which rainbow foil? The stacks are getting high. It's a major league material for Mr. Matt Olson. Is 
just a white napkin on this one, y'all. I already know. Well, there's, I guess there's no stripes on the on the Braves uniform anyway. But very nice. I've got. I'll look for that. That's gonna be too thick. Yeah, I'll fix that later. And Beatty. Yastrzemski on the hits. Mark McGuire of the 88. The Gabriel Moreno on the 88th, 35th anniversary. You know, it looks like we got orange foil coming here. Orange foil coming in the back. See, what do we got? We got, ooh, nice. That is nice. That's nice there. So that is the, just checking to see what his regular card looked like. Yes, it looks the regular. So nice Blue Jays hit here. 
Gabriel Moreno on the orange foil. This is out of two ninety nine. It is one eighty four out of two ninety nine. Josh, if you're listening, that's that's nice Blue Jays hit right there. Congrats, man. Nice. A little bit more color we're seeing. Still haven't seen a red yet. So maybe we'll see that. Maybe we'll see that Michael Harris red. We'll see a Joey Votto red. Reds for the Reds. 30 30 for Bobby Abreu. Man, that's another guy I would never I would never think of being fast. He's former Met. Tail end of his career. I think he retired with the Mets. Killed him for years. And then like, hey, I'll come and play for you guys. Langle years. Ryan, all right. Nothing wrong with a little Texas Express. I think that might have been a pretty accurate card of him at that time. Yeah, we haven't seen like the vintage stock. No SSPs. The um, the base image variation SSPs. Um, we did see a Mother's Day variation. Haven't seen the red. Haven't seen that many greens either. Three maybe. I guess I expected a little more color. Oh, still got two boxes left. We shall see. We shall see. Give myself a little more space over here. Sorry, guys, doing a little bit of housekeeping. There we go. Silver pack number 11. Byron Buxton. Derek Hall for the Phillies. Francisco Lindor for the Mets. Mookie Betts for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Sanchez on the rainbow foil, Ryan Sandberg on the 88.
I met him in the first pack. I didn't, I didn't get anything. In the sense of, you know, there was no combo cards. It was just straight up. And no, no rooks to pull. That's Von Grissom, Bobo. Seth Lugo, Jesus. I wonder if it's because that the pack before had two inserts in it. Right? It had the Sandberg and it had the Rainbow Foil. And I wonder if one of those was meant for that next pack. Don't know. JJ Blade, no longer a Marlin. It's Freddie. Bryson Stott. Rainbow foil for the Philadelphia Phillies. No, oh, he didn't get a rookie card designation. You know what? I think his rookie card designation was uh, an update. Pretty sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was. Hank Aaron, 30-30 club. Getting down to the nitty-gritty, guys. If y'all have stuck with us, I appreciate it. We've hovered between like 10, I saw 15 folks earlier. Thought maybe that was a glitch because we've kind of hovered around 12 watching the live here. But um, I mean, I appreciate it. You know, it's just a Monday, opening up some wax, busting out the big hits, Nolan Gorman's base there. I feel like those home run challenge cards are definitely fewer and far between than they used to be, too. Um, for a caser, there's only one Alonzo. Um, Clayton Kershaw on the 88, and I haven't hit, seen that many either. I thought they probably, probably don't want to make as many, um, you know, if people hit them. Curious how that how all that works in the sense of, you know, um, how quickly they're able to turn those around. I can't remember. I wish I would have remembered how fast I got mine after... You know, he, he hit the home run um, in Colorado, I think it was. Davis Martin here on Rainbow Foil. Davis Martin. Anthony Rizzo on the 2022 Greatest Hits. Followed by Pete. That's kind of cool. Number 88. We have 
plenty of combo cards to go around. Plenty. Adley. It was weird because before it was it was Alonzo Adley Judge and now it's Escobar Adley Judge. As long as the Adleys keep coming. Don't think anyone will complain. I haven't seen the black either, like the black out of 73, I think it is this year. There's a color. No, nope, that's no, nope, sorry, false alarm, y'all. Riley Green greatest hits. Got a little bit excited. I saw like that little foil esque thing there. Don't even know where to go. It's like, where are we going? Where are we going? It's like a welcome to the 4040 coming. Marrero. Moreno. I don't know why I keep saying Marrero. There's Conseco. I think we'd see um, Alfonso Soriano, too. He, he's a 4040 guy. First one to do it. I remember Hojo came close. I think Hojo had a 36 home runs, 41 stolen base season. And then he had a 38 home run and some 30 something stolen base season in his third one. I'll be up at City Field later this year. He's getting inducted into the Mets Hall of Fame along with Al Leiter and. Um, Jay Horowitz, who is the, the Mets um, PR guru and the um, their TV color commentator, Gary Cohen, along with um, Howie Rose, who is their radio play-by-play -play guy, Langley Ears. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. One-two punch for the Twinsies. I think that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a good time. And like I said, I'm gonna see him again this this upcoming weekend at a card show in the area here, um, along with Dwight Gooden and Dennis Oil Camboyd. <laughs> gonna be there too. A couple other sports represented, but uh, the base, those are the baseball players that are gonna be there. But, but like I said, I don't think I'm gonna go and hang out with Oil Camboyd, but. Um, I'm definitely going to see Hojo again and um, see what um, kind of conversation I could strike up with Dr. K. Because he, he was a huge part of my baseball childhood. Um, lucky enough to, to grow up in, the, in New York City in the 80s. Those were definitely the guys. Brian Bello. There's Beeps, Shane Bieber. He's on my fantasy team. We we're talking earlier about um, how you can you could hold on to players for a few years in the league. Um, I think it's five years. Three. I think it's five. No, it makes it three. Three makes a little more sense um, as a keeper. 
And so um, coming up on, on three years for a couple players, uh, Bieber is one of them. So basically just obviously allows them to go back into the pool with the rest of the mix for the league, make it a little more even, if you will. Um, but we'll see. Let's see what I decide to do. There's Beatty, Gunner. Adley on the 88. Nice. done with box 11 y'all i think i sped up a little bit i feel like i've, I've definitely sped up which is good if i stop yakking and just pay attention to the cards better oh hello there's an autograph that's on card autograph there man that bad boy snuck up quick there you go philadelphia phillies mark i don't know if it's apple or appel I forget. I've heard it. Good for him. I mean, good for him. His story, if you don't know it, his story to the show, a um, lot of adversity. But going to the Phillies, Mark. Nice. Congrats there. You know, just yakking along, and I didn't realize in, in the whole box we hadn't gotten our autograph or our relic yet. So far, we've only seen one of those um, manufactured relics, which is, to be honest, is fine with me. Um, there's the hairs. Um, they're nice. Um, these are actually kind of nice. These City Connect ones. Um, but for, you know, when, when you expect a relic, right? Like, I want a jersey piece. I want a bat piece. Something like that. I don't want a, you know manufactured piece of plastic, which is essentially what that is. Um, so, meh. I'm picky. <laughs> I think I think as consumers, right, and baseball fans, we have a right to be picky. So, this is all good. Uh, let's get a little gold coming here. Shane McClanahan, 2023 for the Tampa Bay Rays. 1879 out of 2023. Nice, very nice for the Rays. All right, last box. Last box mojo. Let's throw some mojo with this box. Last box mojo. Looking for that Julio auto. Looking for the Michael Harris to, uh, excuse me, Michael Harris the second um, red parallel. Looking for an Independence Day parallel, maybe. Looking for um, Camo at a 25, Father's Day at a 50, SSP. Uh, what else? Vintage stock. There's just so many different things that come out of flagship that we have not seen. I I don't think we've seen. I don't think I missed it. If I did, though, you'll get it. All right, last silver pack. Okay, so we've got Joey Manessis, Reese Hoskins, Ronald Cunha Jr., and Juan Soto. Not bad, not bad little mix. And I will recap all these, um, all the silver packs. All the mojos. All right, let's rip. Try to make sure we got enough space. Everything here.
and the Alcantara. But see, like, look at this. Why, why choose that color for the word Marlins? I just don't, I don't, I don't get that. I mean, it's what it is at this point. Smith, it's kind of work. Shohei, Noah. Jesse Davies, Ken Madcoff, there's Alcantara, Bello. Vladimir Gutierrez for the Reds. That is the gold parallel. 576 out of 2023. Oswald Peraza. times we've seen Mountcastle leading off a pack. I feel like it's been a good number of times by now. Seems like at least these cards are cut pretty well. Cheater Towns. Killing me, man. DFA Bobo. That's the second Jeter Downs um, parallel we've got. I think we had a 2023 earlier. It's Bobo. Home run challenge for Goldie. See, that last pack had two inserts, and then this one, um, no, it didn't, it just had one. Yeah. That one just didn't have anything. Oops. Vinny, should have a Michael Harris come out, right? Maybe. Well, should I say it anyway? There it is. Huh. Most of the rookies came up with um, some pretty good parallels as well, either rainbow foils or um, some mojo. No strong color though. Thirty thirty.
Griffey Jr. in the 88. Nice looking card, actually. I like this. Nice colors on that. Mind layers. Okay, I know we haven't seen the auto or the relic yet. No, we haven't seen it yet. Aces for Otani. And that is the only one of those. For Otani, I mean, we've seen maybe about 10, 10 or 12. So, I think here one, maybe two per box of those aces. Buster Posey. First one of those we've seen. Definitely the first one of those. Almost there, y'all. Almost there. Been with me the whole time. I do appreciate it. I know I said that earlier. I tend to repeat myself. Um, Adley. So that was see that one was Alonzo and then Adley. So weird. I will um, once we get to the recap. I will go as quickly and as efficiently as possible. There's Judge there. That's Herrera Brown. Max Scherzer. Nope. I'm all over the place. All over the place. I mean, we started this at what? 8 o'clock, right? It is almost 11.30. Powering through. We got a little bit of that. Yeah, that's an auto right there. That's what I thought it was going to be. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Auto coming, incoming. Cal Mitchell for the Pirates. Pirates have a pretty good break. Pirates have had a pretty good break. Cal Mitchell. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know anything about you, but your autograph is heading to somebody who bought Pittsburgh Pirates. Spot. Cal Mitchell. Sorry, Mike. I'm not. I'm not going to be asking you for lotto numbers unless we get a surprise. Um, surprise, Julio Auto here. We got there. Say greatest hits. Casas. Owen Gorman. Rainbow. Nice. Manny Machado. It's the first time I've seen Manny. Obviously, he's not. He doesn't have a base card in this set. I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've seen anything Machado. Owen Gorman on the. Rainbow foil. There we go. It's all all perspective, right? All perspective. I appreciate it. I'm glad, man. I'm happy. I'm always happy to pull stuff for folks. Um, it's part of the fun. It just is. Gunner. Julio. All right, last.
last stack is right here. Last stack. Corman. Man, we're losing. I love it. We're losing. I lost like three, three. I mean, three out of twelve, or yeah, three out of twelve was pretty funny. So like seventy-five percent, twenty-five percent of folks dropped after the last uh, auto came out. <laughs> I love it. That, that makes me laugh. That makes me laugh. First time we've seen that card. All right, last pack, guys. Last pack. All right. Is everything's been opened? Just in case you guys were wondering, this is the stack of the combo cards. Um, so what I think I'm going to do with these is um, we've got three on the card. I, I have, there's multiples of each. I, I can just I can tell you just from zipping through them like this. There are definitely multiples of each. Um, so everybody is covered with at least at least one. Um, dare I say probably even maybe two or three each. Um, those with Mets on them, I'm just gonna take them taking the Mets out. So we're just gonna go with the others. Um, so let me let me I'll, I'll do that. Do that. Let me do that now, actually. So I'm going to take my phone. Um, let's go to. Can I do that here? Yeah, let's go to random. All right. So we're going to go to random.org here. I'm going to do one through three. And so let's do it. Um, Actually, let's do one to I do one to twenty first. Two. All right. Well, I'm gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do this twice. So I'm gonna do um, one to three. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it twice. And so when I do it twice, the the first number that the, the number that comes up is gonna be the number out of the one, two, and three. So one, two, or three that we're going to go to first. All right. And then I'm going to do it again. And then um, that'll be the second one. And if it comes up with the same number, I'll just do it again until the, until the other number comes up. All right. Um, that's what we're going to do. Cool. Go to the bottom. Okay. So there we go. So random number generator. We're one through three. We're going to do this twice. Do it one. Two. All right. So number for the first. So the first one is going to be the one that gets the card first, and then we're going to do it again, and then two. Well, that's easy enough. So it's going to be one, two, three. So if we've got you know um, six of these, everybody gets two. If we have seven, just with this example, 
the Dodgers will get it because the Met is here is here first. So a better example is this card here with three teams. If we have seven of these, um, we'll, it'll be um, three, two, and two. So that's how we're going to do all of these here. And I've, I've got it obviously recorded here on the on the feed so you guys will know exactly, and I'll know exactly what it is that we're doing. So let me bring uh, bring my screen back so we're up on the chat. All right, cool. So one, two, three, easy enough there. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Um, let's take a look at the mojos first. All right, we got Soto, Acuna, Hoskins, Manessis, Betts, Lindor, Hall, Buxton, Jackson, Trout, Va Vavra, Frank Thomas, Oswaldo Cabrera, Shohei, Griffey Jr., Christopher Morrell, Nick Prado, Bobo. Got Ozzie Smith, Oscar Gonzalez, Ricky Henderson, Miguel Vargas, Bubba Thompson, James Altman, Charles LeBlanc, Nolan Arenado, Corey Lee, Bubba Thompson again, Miguel Vargas again, Ivan Herrera, Jose Ramirez, Ethan Small, Wander, Oscar Gonzalez again, Ricky, Lou Bob, Graham Ashcraft, Fernando Tatis Jr., Josh Smith, Barry Larkin, Clayton Kershaw, Tony Gwynn, Shea Langoliers. That's going, it's going to go back there. Uh, Nolan Jones, one of our autographs here for the Guardians. Uh, nice sticker auto, but still solid auto. And that one was um, numbered 148 out of 249. So congrats there. Uh, no other numbers, at least that I saw on, on all those mojos. I'll check them uh, as we go through here. Uh, let's take a look here at our top-loaded cards. Got a Cal Mitchell autograph, a Mark Appel autograph, Matt Olson, Major League Material, Trey Turner on the bat. Jonathan Daza, green foil at a $4.99. O'Neill Cruz on the 88. Relic Reese Hoskins on the Relic Major League Material for Javi Baez, bat piece. CC Sabathia. This is out of two, excuse me, 199. 192 out of 199. Nice pinstripe there for the Yankees. Uh, Adley, and you know what? I'm going to put that back there, too. I put all the rookies together, so I'm keeping that back there. We'll see it in a second. City Connect, only one of these we saw today, Jose Abreu. Tommy Henry for the Diamondbacks uh, autograph here. And this one was also numbered 194 out of 199. Trey Turner for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, not numbered. Baseball stars autograph. Lowest number thing we've gotten here actually was the Tristan McKenzie Mother's Day parallel. Uh, 28 out of 50 for the Cleveland Guardians. Roberto Perez uh, was 118 out of 299 on the orange foil. No, Gorman, you're going back there. Uh, home field advantage. Solid here. SSP hit for the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Mike, uh, this one is coming to you once I get everything shipped out here. Uh, Herman Marquez for the Rockies, four ninety nine green foil. Uh, I do have. I'll see. I've got a ton of these. Um, these here, all these uh, parallel, or excuse me, all these inserts. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna go through them fast. <laughs> so, well, uh, you'll see them here as we go through. Um, basically, have the. Red pair, excuse me, the um, rainbow parallel, rainbow foils, the aces cards, the one two punches, the 40 40 30 30 clubs, um, the greatest hits. Uh, all these will stay sleeved uh, and will ship sleeved as well. So, a uh, good assortment across all the teams. I think we had a pretty good uh, lineup here. I am going to do the rookies. Um, so, as soon as I get through um, going through all of these here. Um, we are going to see all of the all of the rookies split out. And I'm going to I am going to split those out, so we'll see them all. Yeah, this is where I got killed with all the uh, penny sleeves. So as we can see, a good good solid assortment here of of parallels. I mean, it's kind of one of the things that flagship is known for, right? So um, aces and 2022 2022. 
Greatest hits, 30-30 clubs, home runs, 88 variations. White Sox, Reds, Braves, Astros, Yankees, Royals, Brewers, Diamondbacks, Rangers, Dodgers, uh, Yankees, Pirates, Angels, Astros, You're getting there. If you are waiting for the rookies, we are almost there. And that was it. That was the only torque we saw. That was the only Spencer Torque All right. All right. All right, so there's Moreno, there's Gorman, Adley, Langoliers, Gorman, Gunner, Beatty, Cassis, Gorman, Moreno, Adley, Langoliers, Vinny, Michael Harris, Riley, Aguero, Peraza, Bello, Vinny. Going as fast as I can, y'all. I promise. Hopefully, once we're done with all this and people are looking at this, they're just fast forwarding to where I actually start talking about how we're split out. Because that's what I would do. I didn't, I didn't lay them out here in any alphabetical order or anything, so they're all over the place, and my brain is in overdrive right now. Dude, now I gotta know. I kind of know where they where they are. Just go a little bit faster. Except of course my shoulder is barking.
All right. All split out. All right. Let's go start right here at the bottom. So Shane Langoliers. Okay. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve base and a mojo. We'll say badly. Tristan Cassis, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten base and one eighty eight parallel. Red Beatty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve base, one eighty eight, one mojo, and a greatest hits. Gunnar Henderson, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus a twenty twenty two greatest hits. Vinny Pasquatino, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve base, and a silver pack mojo. Vaughn Grissom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 base, and 1 rainbow foil. Brian Bellow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 base, 188, and 1 silver pack mojo. Oswald Peraza, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 base. Leover Paguero, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 base. Michael Harris II, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 base and 288 parallels. Riley Green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve base, two greatest hits twenty twenty two, and a home run challenge. Gabriel Moreno Moreno. Good gosh. Gabriel Moreno. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven base. 188 parallel and one orange foil at a 299, 184 at a 299. Nolan Gorman. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven base, one rainbow foil, 188 parallel, and one black 88 parallel, 91 out of 299. And last but not least, is Adley Rutschman. And for Adley, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 base, 188 parallel, 1 mojo out of the silver pack, and a major league material. So uh, that is going to be the break, y'all. Like I said, I will get these um, sorted and and sent out probably Wednesday's mail. So uh, Tuesday, and probably get these all sorted out. The numbers can only kind of go up from here. If I miss something in the in the um, during the during the break and sorting, uh, it will get uh, properly packaged uh, and top loaded, etc. So appreciate you guys um, again. 
Um, if you stuck with us on the break, I do appreciate time and energy in the chat. Um, everybody have a great day. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll talk to you all soon. Good night.